Welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow, which we have the permission to, actually, since the last episode, so that's pretty cool. But to get on with our game here and to John find purchase, dearly beloved husband of Florence. Oh, did I click on that? <laughs> I did not intend to. Um, to go on with the excavation, we need to find workers, and to find workers, we need to find milk. And to find milk, we need to find a cure. And to find the cure, I think we have to go into the woods. And visit uh, Mother... Oh. Daddy, I have something for you. I do hope you remember it. I've taken great care of it. I'll fetch it for you now, all right. She's much older now. And I think she means the vase. Yeah, there it is. I think Daddy looks a little better today. Of course, it might just be wishful thinking. I should show Daddy what I've brought. Hmm. I have a surprise for Daddy. Daddy, you must remember this. The day that started it all. It's the red urn you buried in the garden for me. My first ever excavation. Hmm. Where should I put it? On the shelf? Perfect. It will catch the light from your lamp so nicely. There. I'm going to become a great barrow digger, just like you. I hope the pot reminds you of those adventures we had together when I was a child, and how thankful I am for everything you've taught me. Now I must tell you about my visit to Pallinghurst. I found an arrowhead. Hmm. I wonder if at the end he'll wake up and tell us what happened. Well, here's Mother Milton. Good day. <laughs> yes. Do you know of any remedies for aching joints? You're too young to be suffering from this, surely. It's for someone else, Mr. Bryden. Yes, yes. I know just the poultice. Capital. May I have some? <laughs> well, I don't have the ingredients, I'm afraid. Oh. What do you need to make it? It's a simple blend made of natural elements. Elderflower and flirtwort. I can make ah. the poultice for you if you bring me these things. Then it just needs to be applied directly to the joints. That should ease his burden. Thank you. I know where one of those grow. At the, at the little river. Where can I find some flirtwort? Flirtwort is not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. You might find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. Thank you. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white, and growing clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Ah, uh, then that's elder Farewell. flower. That we know of. Let's get it. And the others in the moors. I've never seen flowers that we could click on in the moors. Always elder flowers in the moors. Or supposed to be. This looks like it might be elderflower. Yeah. I'll okay. take some. Cool. We have that. Nice. A small bunch of elderflowers. Now, where do we get the other flower from? There are flowers in the church garden. Oh, look who's there. 
Excuse me, Ms. Bateman. I'm in something of a hurry. Farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. Which work is that quote from? Uh. Romeo and Juliet. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> what? Weird. We cannot see where he's going. Should we? Could we? No, maybe not. No, just the YouTube chat. Well. We cannot take these flowers. No. No flowers here to be taken. Then there is the mushroom circle. But... There are no flowers here. Have there been flowers at the farm? I doubt it. I've never seen any. Here's only the goat, yeah. Cannot click on that shrub. And there were no flowers here either. No, only the barrel. Okay, let's go back. It might be that we have to buy them. She has herbs, right? These flowers look pretty. Someone must take good care of them. I don't think they're in in these spots, right? There are flowers. There's nothing else I would. This looks like elderflower to me. Oh, there's more elderflower. The box is full of various. The produce is. Hmm. I mean, we cannot buy anything any, anyhow, because we don't have money. Hello. Good day. Do you have any milk for me, Mum? <laughs> Not yet, Miss Tompkins. Oh, I'm working dear. on it. No sign of Mr. Ambrose. I'm afraid not. Okay. Maybe here. Oh, in the garden of the young man, Mr. What was it? What was his name? Long? No. I cannot look into his garden either. I cannot look into his garden at all. Hmm. Then maybe Maybe. I certainly don't wish. To. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't touch it. Maybe here somewhere. Maybe now we can get out into the moors. Because she told us to. The road nope. disappeared. <laughs> hmm. No flowers appeared. Maybe I can ask her if these are elder flowers. I don't wish to get. Okay. Mutton pies. I have nothing else. Yeah. Where have we not been? At the station, but at the station there are no flowers. That's the church. We've been there. Nothing new appeared here. Good day. Yes. Where can I find some flirtwort? 
flirtwort is not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. You might find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. Thank you. Out on the moor, so it was that. Farewell. Good day. I have some elderflowers here. Show me. No, no, this is not elderflower. It's cowbane. Oh, no. Easy mistake to make. The two look <laughs> very similar. Oh. It's safe to eat, as long as you're not a cow. Very toxic to cattle. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white, and grow in clumps on the elder hmm. shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Cowbane. Hmm. No. Can I? I'm not sure. Cut I it. I do not wish to cut. There's no cattle around, so we cannot feed it to cattle. I mean, we also don't want to kill cattle, so we shouldn't do that either way. <laughs> hmm. So now we know that the lady has elderflowers to sell. But without any money? We could take more, it seems. Now let me see. I can't see how that will help me. That water? That's a picture. <laughs> it's not that out of the ordinary. Here are the only houses with gardens. Hmm. I mean, maybe it is some of these, but I cannot reach those. Good day. Fresh produce. Uh, we can talk to her. Is that elderflower you're selling? Aye, perfect for teas and tinctures. Any good for sore joints? Aye, penny a bunch. I'm afraid I don't have any money. Sorry, miss. Does it look like I'm running a charity? <laughs> can we work something out? A trade, perhaps? I deal in cash only, miss. No coin, no elderflower. What do you take me for? Goodbye. Ta-ra, miss. Look who's here. Jane. Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Oh, it's her father. Isn't it? Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. Do Hello, it. Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Huh. Maybe if we give Very her... Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. The rotten apple. And she juggles with it. And maybe one falls down and I dare it's a you good to one. juggle an extra apple. Easy. Yuck, a worm! <laughs> okay, that works too. You Wait, just did it. back! <laughs> Sorry. Be careful with your apples! Sorry, miss. Oh, that was of no use. Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Oh, maybe we can repeat that. 
So we cannot steal the herbs. Very impressive. And that's okay. I can juggle even more. Let's see if we can pick up the apple. Yeah. Hello again, little worm. Huh. Why can we do that? What does that achieve? Maybe we can take the vegetables? Maybe she shouldn't take all of them. Just a little bit. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Yuck, a worm! <laughs> Not tempting. Huh. Oh, I know. You'll pay for any damaged goods. Sorry, miss. I know what to do. We change it out. <laughs> that is so bad. Okay. Hello again, Liz. Third try. The bot. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Yuck, a womb. Yuck, a worm. Come on. <laughs> and she's running. So it worked. I managed to swap them without her noticing. That's so bad. We have elder flowers though. Can I take the worm? Still? I'll let the worm enjoy his new home. No! I'll let the worm. <laughs> you cannot be without my worm. Okay, now. We do have elder flowers. What? I don't wish to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Where did he come from? Good day. Hello there. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Ralph. Not seen you around before. I'm just visiting. What brings you to the market today? I purchased a scotch egg for me tea. You want a bite? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm looking for some help with an excavation tomorrow. Might you be interested? Sorry, miss. I've already got my own job. Enjoy your scotch egg. I will. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, maybe Ralph can lend me a penny to repair I'm not sure that. Sure, they would be interested. Okay. Are there new people? Oh. I know it's bad, but... A heap of glistening sugar cubes. My mother has a similar one. I prefer my tea hot and fresh. Take one. I already took one. Okay. Awesome. I thought would have been better for the horse, but hey. Now we feed it sugar. Hey, look what I have. Let's first look Just at it. looking at it makes my teeth hurt. <laughs> Poor horse. Here you go. Eat this. It took it. Good girl. Hopefully that's gained some trust between us. I've managed to cut off a few lengthy strands. Nice. I've taken a few long strands of horsehair. Okay. There we are. This should make sufficient bowstring now. Awesome. Awesome. 
I've done it. The bowstring seems to hold on sufficiently. Oh, I love it. We did it. Dang. Differently than I thought, but it worked. So let's go to... Mm, let's go to... I think the bench to see if the girl comes back on her own. Wait, the bench was not here. <laughs> when will I ever learn? The bench was... And I really don't want to fa uh, fast travel too much because things happen on the way. Like meeting the vicar and, and things like that. William Paxton. Modest. Oh, I did it again. I clicked on a headstone. Now, will she be here? She will. The scruffy young girl has a wild look in her eyes. Look what I have for you. Oh. No way. Oh, she's good. happened my head is spinning what happened <laughs> hello where did she go she left her fiddle the girl has left her fiddle behind did she take anything it does not seem like it the girl left her fiddle behind. I'll take it with me in case I see her again. I want to understand what just happened. Me too. We have a fiddle. The fiddle and bow, left to me by the young girl at the devil's toe. Can you play it? Hmm. <laughs> we cannot use anything with self. Because, I mean, she said that she can play the fiddle. Okay, nothing new here. So... We just go back. We have a fiddle now, that's cool. Funny. But we still don't have the other herb. Where would we get that from? Can we get another I've had enough of worms for now. <laughs> Oh, come on. I thought that this would now be a running gag until we took all the worms. Oh, where is there? Oh, hello. <gasps> She's here. Maybe she has some herbs. Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. De Plancy. If you're looking for Father Roach, he won't be back until tomorrow. Right, he's called Roach. What's his first name? Is it A? R? Where is Father Roach? You might have noticed the good father has a green thumb. He's gone to visit his friend in the countryside to purchase some seedlings for his tower garden. Oh. Where is Father Roach's tower garden? Why, on top of St. Edmund's, of course. He's got a lovely collection of cuttings up there. You'll have to ask him to show you. It does sound rather pleasant. It's a shame he's not around. Well, he does have a spare key for the tower door somewhere. Ooh. Do you know where Father Roach keeps his spare key? No, that's his business. If I did know, I'd fetch it myself and take you up there. Not to worry. I do recall him saying he hid it outside somewhere, for safekeeping, like. Were it in the graveyard? 
Oh, I don't know. Best wait till he gets back, pet. I don't wait. I found out my father visited Bewley some 25 years ago. William Bateman. Perhaps you remember him? Bateman? William Bateman? I remember a William Baldwin. He were a right miserable sod. My father was only in Bewley <laughs> briefly, from what I understand. I'm trying to piece together what he was doing here. You'll have to ask him. I don't recall anyone of that name. My father took part in an excavation at Hobbs Barrow. Do you recall the excavation? I concern myself only with matters related to the church. I'm sorry I can't be more helpful. What do you make of these stones? They are not Christian. I'm certain of that. I agree. Much older, I feel. Older than Christianity? Oh, the youth of today. <laughs> these boxed what? pews are most unusual. I've never seen any quite so tall. We Bewley folk like our privacy. Many of the pews are owned by individual families. Some might accuse you of hiding secrets. Now, now, pet. I jest. At my age, it's hard to climb in and out of them. I'd rather stand. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? Hmm. Is that a village near Erdlaw? No, never mind. <laughs> Do you have any fresh milk going spare? I don't, pet. Not to worry. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. <laughs> oh, that's cool. This must belong to Mrs. De Plancy. That's not mine to interfere with. Can you put something in? Ah, oh, we don't have good stuff. Maybe we can give back the trowel. Hmm. <laughs> I've no time. For okay. The key. We need the key. The flowers have long... But she said outside. Maybe in the graveyard. Is there anything new? So wait, where's his memorial in memory, plaque? In mem in memory Roach. In memory in memory here. In memory of Percival Roach. So that might have been his father. Percival. I mean and it fits because I mean In memory of Percival Roach. The name Percival because he's citing Shakespeare all the time. So he got that from his father, or that interest at least. Hmm. This appears to be a recently dug unmarked grave. But he wouldn't have hid the key in a grave, would he? We tried Maybe that a already. Barrow dig. <laughs> Is there anything new? I mean, we could look at all the headstones again, William but Pat Modest. I don't even know if we can I've find it yet. Let's see. Nope. Nothing here. Nothing new. Hmm. It's locked. And it's not just there. Where could that be? Well, let's go to Mother Mildred and give her at least the elderberries. Because I'm pretty sure that the other herbs are on top of the church in the church garden. Good day. I have some elderflowers here. Show me. Ah, that's elderflower. Let me know when you found some flirt. What, two? Okay. At least it's elderflower. Confirmed. 
I don't wish to give that. Hmm. I thought you might know, maybe. What are our other options? We don't have many options. Oh! Maybe we can give the fiddle to the musician. And when he uses it, everybody falls asleep. <laughs> it's an enchanted fid fiddle. Oh, maybe he keeps the key at home. Fresh Scotch eggs. Doesn't he live here? Maybe that's where the key is. But there's nothing. I don't think anyone is home. Hmm. And this, I can't remove the plaque. Yeah, there's nothing there. Tins it's from her. I don't wish to give that away. Mm. I don't think Stanley would be interested in that. Maybe There's he knows. nothing else I no. I have nothing else. I don't wish to. Okay. What do I do with the fiddle? I honestly don't know. So I guess I'll leave it here and maybe I'll look around a bit in between episodes. But uh, yeah, that's that. Thank you so, so much for watching this episode. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.